Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So one of the things that I just cannot stand about my 4Runner is that the parking brake was not set correctly from the factory. Even in stock form, if you're on any sort of incline, the brake just really does not work. Even if you jam that thing all the way to the floor, it does not grab right every single time. So I'll give you an example of what this looks like. Okay, so you get home after driving around for a bit, your driveway has a slight incline, you pull into the driveway, you set your parking brake, and it just rolls backwards. So in today's video, we're gonna take the tires off and I'll show you how to adjust the parking brake. Okay, so now that we got the tires off, to adjust the parking brake, you need a screwdriver to fit into this hole to adjust the little tensioner that's in there. You don't have to pull off the rear brake caliper, but I'm going to so I can show you what's inside that hole. Okay, so once you remove the disc brake, these two brakes, they expand to push onto the inner wall of the inside of your disc brake. Okay, so at the bottom hole here, you can see the mechanism with the teeth that needs to rotate up or down to tighten or loosen the brake. If we look at underneath here, you can see it. If you just rotate it up or down, it'll expand the shoes to go in or out to clamp on the inside of that disc brake. Okay, with the hole lined up down here, we can stick a screwdriver in the hole and adjust the little wheel inside. So. If you rotate the wheel upwards towards the center line, it will tighten the brake. So we'll do that a little bit. Then check the tension. There's a little bit of drag, maybe not quite enough. So just keep adjusting it until there's a little bit of drag on the brake and then that should be good. One thing to consider is not to adjust this too tight because if it locks onto the disc, then you can't turn the disc. And you might be able to rotate it like halfway around, but this hole will get stuck and then you won't be able to adjust it down here again to make it looser. All right, after you've made your adjustments, throw your tire back on, tighten everything down, and let's go outside to see if it worked. Well, I hope your parking brake's working better like mine is now. The only recommendation that I have is when you make the adjustments with the screwdriver, just do it in very small increments. You kind of have to play with it a little bit. Uh, you might have to put the tires back on and off a few times just to make sure you don't over tighten it. Cause it'll be far worse to lock up that brake and then have to deal with pulling the brake off. It'll cause way more headache than it's worth. So just take your time, small adjustments. That's my best recommendation. So hopefully this video was helpful. Please hit the subscribe button for me and the thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. You hit the parking brake all the way. And of course it parks. <laughs> 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 <laughs>